In this analysis video, we're going to look and see whether this company is a good long-term investment for you, and if right now is the right time to buy its stock. For this stock analysis, I want you to ignore the news, at least for right now. That's what I'm going to do. We're only going to look at the company. And, if you see any news that brings the stock price down, you'll know whether it's a prime opportunity to buy. But for this video, let's focus on the company. So in this video, we're going to analyze two categories. The business, which makes up 75% of the analysis, and the price, which makes up 25%. For the business, we're going to look at eight metrics and see whether they can give us a clearer picture of the company. Furthermore, we're going to compare those eight metrics with that of the S&P 500. I think it's a better way to look at a company, to compare it with the overall market. For these eight metrics, the first four, growth, efficiency, dividends, and effectiveness, we want a high number. For the other four, speculation, relative value, mood, and opinion, we want a low number, preferably lower than the S&P 500. You can pause this video and read why I chose each of these metrics. You can see here the eight company metrics compared with the S&P 500. Those highlighted in green receive two points, and if you see any metrics highlighted in red, they don't receive any points. We then divide the points against the total, and that's then translated into a grade number, and that's our company's business grade out of 100. Next, we're going to look at the price, which has only one metric. The fair price is based on a discounted cash flow model with a 10% margin of safety. The stock can either be expensive, overvalued, fairly priced, undervalued, or a bargain. Here you can see the company's fair price and how much over or undervalued its stock is compared with its current price. There are 10 grades based on the stock's valuation. A grade at 50 is a stock that's fairly valued right now. Any grade above that means the stock is undervalued relative to its stock right now. Now, before we put everything together, join my Patreon. You'll get access to the grades of hundreds of companies and ETFs. It's updated all the time. Link on the screen and in the description. Finally, we're going to put the company's business and price grades together to get our final grade. You can see here the final grade for our company based on a 0 to 100 grade scale. Anything under a grade of 50 isn't worth investing in right now, and a grade above 50 means it's worth taking a look. Remember, news can change everything, and this analysis is a look inside the company, not the noise outside it. Subscribe for more analysis videos. Invest wisely, and as always, take care of your money.